Hello and welcome to Let's Play What Never Was with me, Bring It Don. Uh, what Never Was is a free-to-play game available on Steam. It was both developed and published by Ak Hallgren. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, the first name is A-C-K-E. It was uh, released in 2019 and it has overwhelmingly positive reviews across the board. It is described as being a short, story-driven first-person game focused on exploration and puzzle solving. Uh, you take control of a character called Sarah while she cleans out her grandfather's attic where everything is not as it seems. So I've never heard of this game before, uh, but it is giving me some What Remains of Edith Finch and Gone Home vibes. Uh, supposedly it only takes about 15 to 30 minutes to uh, finish, according to a couple different reviews that I read. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump on in. Hey mom, where are you? Wait, what? So you're not coming? But I'm already here. I know, but Mom, don't we owe it to Grandpa to... Yeah, I know, it's just... What? You can't sell the clock? Grandpa's had that for years. Okay, okay, whatever, it's fine. I can just start clearing out my boxes and then... I don't know. We can come back tomorrow and do the rest? Yeah, bye. I'm really going to miss you, Grandpa. All right, let's do this. All right, so you can't use a controller, which is precisely what I'm going to do, because it's quieter than my... I have always loved the British countryside. Oh yeah? It's a shame to be stuck in here on such a nice day. Not to mention all the memories. I have always loved the British countryside. It's a shame to be stuck in here on such a nice day. <sighs> it's going to take forever to sort through all these. Grandpa sure did like his books. He's got like what? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven? The Hero with a Thousand Faces, by Joseph Campbell. These books are all so old. Hey, wait. Is that the biography of George Lucas? Fairies, by Brian Froud and Alan Lane. It's a matter which one Celtic I... myths and legends. <sighs> it's going... These books are all... The Hero... Nah, I don't feel like reading up on King's Country Fairies, by Brian Froud and Alan Lane. All right, so it does seem to indicate what I can interact with. Maps. Lots of maps. Grandpa loved reading maps and making maps. You know, I've always had an interest in cartography myself. It's not something I'm ever going to probably pursue. I wonder how many of these he charted or drew himself. I loved when we drew maps of places we made up together. We draw our own cities, fantasy villages and the like. Oh, maps. Oh. I wonder I loved when we drew maps of places we made up together. We draw our own cities, fantasy villages and the like. All names something along the lines of Saraville, of course. But hey, what do you expect from an eight year old girl? I hope for more alliteration, honestly. Sarah Center? That's what I'd have gone with. But I do love me some alliteration. Maps. Lots okay. of map Ah, the old gramophone. I used to put this on for Grandpa after dinner, then we'd sit and listen to it together. I've never been much into swing music, but it was our little tradition. Ah, the old gramophone. Ah, it's going to take forever to see the hero with a thousand faces by Joseph Campbell. How many copies of that does he have laying around? Alright, so we have a few things to interact with. Uh, let's check this out. Oh, Grandma's cello. So this is where it ended up. Oh, Grandma's cello. So this is where it ended up. I really wish I knew if that was in tune or not. Okay. It's a banker's lamp. Probably really old, but in great condition. 
It's a banker's lamp. It's a magnifying glass. For magnifying things. Imagine that. It's a magnifying glass. For magnifying things. What? Especially it lines up with the clock. Hmm. Celtic myths and legends. A tape recorder. The post-it says, play me. That's definitely Grandpa's handwriting. A tape recorder. Hello. This is Howard James Wright with a message for my granddaughter, Sarah Elizabeth Wright. Or so. So if anyone else is listening, they can sort off immediately, please. <laughs> <clears throat> Sarah, if you are listening to this, then it means, well, it means I'm gone. But I don't want you to be too sad about it. That's just the way life goes sometimes. So, chin up, my little pixie. Remember our grand moments. All the adventures we had when you were a little one and I wasn't such a cranky old man. I, I know you have questions for me. It's true I kept secrets from you and your mother, but there were good reasons. There are things in this world greater than ourselves, and I needed to protect you from them. I didn't want either of you to face the dangers that I've had to... I never wanted to place such a burden on your shoulders, but now it, it's unavoidable. Pixie, I need your help, but I can't just tell you. I have to show you. You will need to see for yourself. This world is full of secrets. From the tallest tree to the deepest river, in every breath of wind and every dancing flame. All you have to do is look. Goodbye, Sarah. I love you very much. Goodbye, Grandpa. Oh. Cell phone. A Matson flip phone. It's a year old, but still works pretty great. I'm not in a hurry to upgrade, even though the new smartphones look pretty nifty. Well, maybe I would if I could afford one. Student ID. Student ID for my school? I'm still not sure, quite sure if studying botanics and biology is right for me. And God knows mom doesn't think so. But I like nature, and I like the idea of maybe one day fixing the planet and winning the Nobel Prize or something. Or setting up a flower shop. You know, whichever. Also not the best picture. But yeah, that's me. A necklace. A necklace I got from grandpa when I turned 10. He joked that it was magical and that it would keep me safe from monsters and such under my bed. And I believed him for the longest time. I've worn it since, and now that he's gone, I don't think I'll ever stop wearing it. Hmm. And this is just... Okay. I'll have to read that because that's already... Oh, man. My old A station. I spent hours playing games on this thing. Yeah, the uh, description for the cassette tape is the same as what was read to us. I must have played... The... Damn. The adapter's missing. Probably for the best. I wouldn't get anything done today if I started playing. I wonder if it still works. Oh man, I must have played through the Adventures of Merida every single summer I was here. Damn. The, damn. The, hey, Mr. Piggles. How have you been holding up? Hey, Mr. Piggles. Alright, see more maps, chair... Does this globe have anything to do with Grandpa's message? What did the message say again? The world is full of secrets? Who's saying shoe? From the tallest tree to the deepest river. Pele. In every breath of wind and every dancing flame. Could he be referring to these symbols? Yeah, I see a tree. Is that wind? Does this flame globe have anything to do with Grandpa's message? Hmm.
These books are all so old. Hey, wait. Is that the biography of George Lucas? An old bicycle. I'm pretty sure this exact model is in fashion again. The rust just makes it more. It's an old table lamp. It's an old table lamp. So I'm not trying to interrupt what she's saying. An old bicycle. I'm pretty sure this exact model is in fashion again. The rust just makes it more hip. Hiking by train, I'm leaving by train. Hiking by train, I'm leaving by train. It looks like a torn out page. A torn out page. Hmm, what's this? <laughs> I wonder if it's a torn out page. <laughs> it looks like a torn out page. Alright, journal page number one. I finally landed in Hawaii and soon began my arduous climb of M Mauna Loa? Mauna Loa? I'm not much of a climber, but I am filled with determination. I will, however, first take some days to recuperate from the very tiresome travel from which my fear of flights did not exactly improve. Not only was the pilot rude and dismissive of safety protocol, he also seemed completely unsure at times of what he was doing. Regardless, I am here and will spend the coming days in the village of Pahala. Whatever secrets of Pele, Goddess of Fire holds is now within my grasp. I have definitely reached the right place, although I am weary from travel, I am too excited to sleep. The villagers are friendly, but warn me of hurting customs, something I have no intent to do. I have also noticed the alchemic symbol for fi of fire etched over people's doorways. It connects to Pele, of course, but is it linked to the crest I've sought as well? Okay. So that's Pele. What was the other one? Water. Is that Periacaca? My grandfather's grandfather clock. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a... Grandpa loved this thing. Told me it was one of a kind. Although, he never actually told me why. Come to think of it, I don't even know where he got it from. On one of his travels, I guess. I can't believe Mom wants to sell this. I get that he missed a lot of her childhood, but come on. Hmm. I'd take it if I could. But where in my 18 square meter student apartment would I fit this thing? There are four hands, and none of them are moving. That old man never could fix anything properly. There's a keyhole. It's locked. It needs a key to open. It's locked. There are four hands. It needs a key to open. Okay. So first thing I think we need to do is find a key, right? Torn page. Alright, journal page number two. It seems no coincidence that both the resting place of Pele and Perikaka we happen to be in mountains. The trek has gone well, and although the winds are ominous, my clothing and necessities have carried me well so far. The guide I hired upon arrival have proved invaluable. Which he has proved invaluable, I think. Not only in his knowledge of the thick forest, but also for his rich knowledge in his company. Not unexpectedly, the symbol of water can be found at the peak of the summit, along with the alchemic symbol of water. Again, these symbols seem interconnected, and while one set are alchemic symbols known to many people, the other seems strange and of no cultural design that at least I am knowledgeable of. And the encounter in Hawaii makes me certain that the two that the other two elements must bear significance as well. What will I find on this mountain? Yeah. Enough of that. Yeah, for right now. It's the other Ambient soundtrack is pretty drawer. good. A desk drawer. Hmm. What's this? It looks like a torn out page. Journal page number five. Should I skip ahead? Yeah, let's go and read it. Now, journal page Elfston. Elfston, also sometimes known as Troll Stones. The subject of Scandinavian folklore. No more rocks with holes in them the size of an acorn were considered lucky, otherworldly, and useful. A hung from the necks of livestock, it would protect them and their farmers alike from malicious predators, trolls, and even incubi. In some tales, the owner of a true Elfston is also able to see the otherwise invisible common troll through the hole of the rock. Oh, we have half of one of those. While several of these were on display, only one of them looked to be the one I was looking for. Carved in a way that no average jeweler could, with or in place of where a hole should be. I did acquire it through the most honest of means, but no one came to harm and I'm sure its disappearance won't be noticed. 
I do wonder how it fits into all this, though. I must study it thoroughly. Oh! Grandpa's old travel diary. Seems like a few pages are missing. Pele, goddess of fire. Why was Grandpa researching Hawaiian myths? He sure could draw, though. I mean, look at that goddess dragon thing. Oh! I should see if I can find the missing pages before moving this. I should see if I can find the missing pages. A desk drawer. It's locked. 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 It's, it's locked. It's a magnifying glass. For magnifying things. Not to mention all the memories. Is there not a window here? Is it just... Oh, that... Alright, there's glass there. I thought maybe it was just open to the outside. I'm like, that's not a good way to take care of your stuff. Hmm. Oh, there's a key. It's a small, simple key. Maybe it fits the desk. It's a small, simple key. Maybe it fits the desk. A ah, small key. Looks small enough to fit the desk, maybe. Or maybe it's small enough to fit this. Hmm. The key I have doesn't fit here. An open desk drawer. Back. A compass and a small telescope. It's an old photograph. Must be from one of Grandpa's trips. Hmm. What's this? Journal photograph. An old photograph found at Grandpa's desk. It says Sultan Hassan Mosque Madrasa, Egypt 1966. Must have been from one of his trips. A torn out page. Could this be one of the diary pages? Our right, journal page number four. All I've worked for. It's here. I know it. The necklace in the temple in China made all the difference. And now I'm finally in Africa, hoping to set the burning sensation of curiosity to peace. Now the symbols line up and my calculations were correct. The anonymous mail I received helped on a grand scale, but I still have not managed to figure out the sender. Regardless, the last piece of knowledge should be here, in Egypt. And after having evaded my guide, I have now found the symbols. It's time. Time to learn what is behind these strange connections and events. Turns out you were crazy all along. Huh. This tin box looks fairly old and has a combination lock on it. What could the combination be? I have an idea. Okay, Grandpa. I need a clue to unlock this box. Huh. This tin box looks fairly old and has a combination lock on it. It's locked. What could the combination be? I was thinking ELF. No, Elfstein will fit there. F A E R? No. We'll come back to that, I think. Hmm. What's this? Journal page number three. Uh, the alchemic symbol of Earth combined with the Chinese one for tree. While the trip has yet again gone well, my research has once again led me to these symbols. I can draw no conclusion. I spent most of my life researching these mythological connections, yet again I reached my destination, and nothing. Almost as if this is all an extremely elaborate prank. I sometimes wonder if my daughter is right. Months, nay years of planning, only to eventually find a temple or shrine with another symbol, another riddle, and another clue. However, at the same time, it feels like I am so close to finding some Summit! Okay, so I found all the journal pages, it seems. I should see if I can find the missing pages before move Pele. I should I should see I should see if I can find the probably really old. But in great condition. It's grandpa on one of his expeditions. He sure was adventurous. Oh, okay, I can zoom in. That helps. That's part of this picture, right? Sultan Hassan, ma. Okay. 
I'm only here to pick up my stuff, but maybe I'll grab this later. I'm only here- I wonder where this is, and what Grandpa was doing there. It's Grandpa on one of- Aww, it's a picture of us. Grandpa, you sweet old bastard. <sighs> I'm going to miss hearing about all of your adventures. Aww, I'm only here to pick up my- This must be from Grandma and Grandpa's wedding. They look so sweet together. This must be from Grum and Grump Berries by Brian Froud and Alan Lee. Hmm. Okay. So it's possible that I'm missing something. Let me check the drawers one more time for a key or something. Oh, here's one. A desk drawer. Did I find anything that... So fire was first, followed by water, earth, and then air. So I'm gonna go out on a limb. Can I activate with the individual? Oh, I can, okay. I did not know that. Alright, so fire is first, water, earth, air. Hey, this is that goddess thing mentioned in Grandpa's diary. Pele, Hawaii, and a fire symbol. Hey, oh, okay. These can be pushed. Crap, it was... which one next? Water. Paria... Pariakaka, South America. And that looks like a drop of water. That doesn't seem to be it. Few sang China. And a symbol of a tree. Few sang China. And a symbol of a tree. Ah, shoot. Shu, Egypt. And a symbol of a... swirl? <laughs> so the tree is first, right? Yeah! <laughs> I did it! Hello! This looks like... Is this a second part of my necklace? This looks like... Is this a second part of my necklace? Whoa. Press Y to look through my necklace. I will do that in a second. Uh, so, update, I guess. When I managed to open Grandpa's globe, I found another piece of the necklace. When I look through it, stuff glows and I see things that aren't there. What the heck is going on? Am I going crazy? Serious woe. Oh. So those are the symbols. That old man. No hmm. The key I have doesn't fit here. Is that? So I can't... Hmm. There are four hands, and none of them are moved. There is no way I can pick this up. Oh, hello. Okay, Grandpa. I need a clue to unlock this ah. box. So if you're here... Huh. Pixie. Guess I'll have to work it out myself then. Whoa, fancy key. Whoa, 
Fancy key. Ah, and it glows when you have this. Ornamental key. A key with a gold finish. Looks fancy. It feels strange in my hand. Like if it's okay. electric almost. Also, the grandfather clock rang when I picked it up, so I guess they're connected. I guess so. Weren't these triangles in the journal pages? I think that they were, yeah. This hand is a triangle facing outwards. So which one goes to which? So fire has the regular triangle, it seems. Point at the top for fire. And fire is to the top. It is 11. It won't budge. Okay, I'll need to move one at a time. Okay. Which one has the Skaven symbol? Point down. A tree. Tree is to is six o'clock. This clock hand is a triangle facing inwards with a line through it. Weren't these triangles in the journal pages? I can only move one at a time. This button seems to control what clock hand can be moved. Okay, well that makes sense. Alright, let's tick this back around then. Let me confirm something, because it could be that... Nah, we'll, we'll try it this way. Alright, so we know fire has the triangle. Just go all the way around. Of course it does. Ah, there we go. Sorry, this doesn't control my controller there. It's not... The best controller. It's been... It's been through some stuff. So water gets the triangle pointing in. Water is where? Eight o'clock. And the last one. Two o'clock. Okay. So I need to set these hands correctly. Maybe the answer is in Grandpa's journal pages. Was that it? Did I do it? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's happening? No, 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 no! That was the first time I traveled by magic, pulling at the thread that would unravel my grandfather's mysteries. I so wish he told me sooner. So we could have gone on at least one adventure together. Instead, I went on his adventure. The one that never was. But that is a longer story. For another time. So I wonder how much of the game I missed. I believe there's six achievements and I only accomplished three. I only achieved three, I guess. Oh. We're not done. Oh, yeah, we are. Well, that was fun. That was a fun little game. Nothing crazy. Again, the puzzle wasn't overly complicated, but it was, uh... It was fun. I guess that's all that really matters. The soundtrack is really good. Uh, both the gramophone and the ambient soundtrack are very fitting to the game, I think. And I do like how there's actual magic in this. There's a lot of, like, Gone Home is a perfect example of a game where there seems like this is overarching, you know, there's something paranormal about it or supernatural. 
and then it turns out it's not. Uh, spoilers for Gone Home, I guess, if you haven't, <laughs> if you haven't played that. Uh, but this game actually had magic, that was pretty cool. Nice little twist in the myth, I guess. But yeah, it's pretty fun. Um, again, it's free to play, and it only took, I don't know how long it took to actually complete 20 minutes, maybe? And that was with me trying to investigate everything. I tried to get the dialogue for every item that I could. That I could. Yeah, if you're looking for a you know simple free-to-play game, again, yeah, doesn't cost you any money, so you just download it and play it. That was uh, it was fun. Controls are a little sluggish, but that's often the case with these uh, first-person puzzle games. So, yeah, I enjoyed it. If you're looking for, again, for something free to play, you know, it's raining outside or something, you can't go outside, or you're not feeling well, you can play this. But yeah, that's, uh, that's what never was. Thanks for joining me on yet another adventure. I hope to see you guys in the next Let's Play.